Welcome back to the broadcast. All this week, you'll be seeing us cooking with some of our family members to show you some of our holiday traditions. Today just happens to be Courtney's birthday, so we invited Mama Ro, Courtney's yeah. mama, to show us a great recipe, Courtney's all-time favorite. Oh my thing. gosh, my all-time re favorite recipe, tell them what it is. Roast, rice, and gravy. But you have to say it as one word. You have to say... Roast rice gravy. Roast rice and gravy. Okay, so yeah. it's all one word. Hashtag. Hashtag roast rice gravy. <laughs> and this is such a simple meal, and I remember a couple years back, Mom taught me how to make it, and I thought, wow, this is a great meal, like, if you have a bunch of people coming over, or for a boy, girls, this is like a key to a man's heart. I it think. is. It's it also is. the key to my heart. I love and my And it's meat, the key so. to all the 18-year-old boys that come to my house, so please tell me how to yes. do this. Yes. Yeah, so it's really easy. So I know the first thing that you do is you get some pan or some Pam in the bottom of your, of your skillet, which you want pretty hot, right? That's right. Now, Mama Ro, you were telling me that there's this certain kinds of roast that you like to buy? Well, I have only ever bought um, inexpensive, cheap roasts. Mm -hmm. um, chuck roast, arm roast, okay. pot That's roast, awesome. just something very inexpensive. You sear it on both sides. And okay. what do you look for? You say if you see like more marbling and more fat, you think that makes it a better, you think that makes it taste better? It gives more flavor. Obviously, if you have a bone in it, bones give flavor to mm -hmm. To meat, and mm -hmm. so I try to buy them with a bun, but it's getting more and more difficult to find. Okay, a, a, what do you what do you do first? So then you're this? just like you sear both sides, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Have to get both a little sides. Little water, seized. you said, and a little salt and pepper. Should we go ahead and see if that's seared on that side and turn wow. it over? This oh, thing yeah, cooks sears so pretty fast. Quick. Yeah, it's this amazing. sub wolf. I would probably sub zero wolf, wolf a little bit attention. Yeah. And then what do you put in there? <laughs> little salt and pepper <laughs> on, okay. on top of it. So we just pepper it. And Courtney likes her pepper. I so. really like it peppery just because I think it gives it more a little flavor. More don't need a lot of salt. I don't like a ton of salt. Because I actually put in a couple of bouillon cubes. And um, these are bo beef bouillon, right? Right, just because it gives it a little flavor. And then so I you add, put those in after you've seared it? After I've seared it. Okay. And then I just add water. Wow. So if you want to just put some Do water just in there, the pan about, up? about halfway up if I'm going to be gone. Um, you can leave this and just. So Leave it on the top of the stove. I'd turn it on pretty high. Is that enough water, Mom? No, more. Oh. So you want it because you're going to really this. Well, gonna... usually because I go away and because leave the it. water mixed with the beef bouillon is, and the and the fat or the grease mm. is what turns into the gravy, right? Mm. Those are the drippings that you use. Um, I get it pretty hot in there, and then I turn it down and simmer and cover the pan and mm. just let that chill out for about three or four hours. Four hours. You, you'll smell it. You'll... And you set around high. I started out on high to get it to get okay. it. Get and it good and hot. Then you get turn it, it down a little bit. Turn it, I can turn it clear down to a, a okay. really low, low simmer. All right. Low and, that's and slow, where, that's baby. Low and for slow for that roast okay. rice and gravy. And then after several hours, you will end up with... You'll take your roast out, mm -hmm. and then you're left with this in the pan, With right? the drippings, okay. right? Which right. you've actually, you, what do you call this? Strain. Sift? Strain. I strain, mm -hmm. right. Because you the, strain to get all the fat out, right? The fat and the little pieces of meat that, that, that fall off and what have you. Okay. Yeah. So we strain it and then you're kind of left with, it kind of looks like an au jus. It's kind of. It does. That's basically what it is. Okay. So then you're going to want to get your flour. Okay. How much flour do, am I, do you want me to put in the? Uh, well, we're going to put a little water in it because oh. I. Into the flour? Uh-huh. Just uh -huh. a little. Courtney. Keep going. Keep going. Keep do you going. like to cook? Okay, that's enough. Are you I good like at to this? do it. I, here's the deal. I know we make a lot of jokes that like I really suck in the kitchen, but like I'm I don't I have, there's one I live by myself. So like cooking for one person is not fun. a ton of fun. And so but I love learning about cooking and I think one day I'll I'll be really great. I'm not good at getting everything coming out at the same time yet. <laughs> Do you um, have any good stories you'd like to tell us about Courtney? Before, you know, oh on my gosh. Her, just, it is her birthday. We feel like we need to roast her a little bit. She loves her meat. <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> she loves her meat. She I does do love her meat. meat. I, I was um, right here first. Uh, when she was four, we were at, we were at Houston Steakhouse, and, and she had always ordered for herself. She always ordered her own food, and I'd kind of go over the menu with her and, and, and let her decide what she wanted to eat. And, and uh, she was four, and um, the way to looks at her or at me and says, what does she want to eat? I said, what do you want to eat? She said, steak. <laughs> and uh, he said, oh. And he looks at me and says, well, I can bring her a little ladies filet mignon. And, uh, she goes, no, I'll have the big prime rib, please. Oh. <laughs> so she's always. She knew what she wanted. She is always. Medium rare. <laughs> okay, so you mix the flour with the a little water. Water, water. And then put you just in your slowly gravy put or it your into the juices. Uh-huh, juices. And you just start stirring. And obviously, you'll want to brown that flour. And as it heats up, it will thicken. Mm -hmm. uh, if you haven't, if you're not used to making gravy, I think it's always important to um, stay near the pan because yeah. otherwise it lumps. You could have a big mess. But I, so you have to keep kind of doing Stirring this motion it for a while. Right. Do you ever add a little salt and pepper to that too? I do. Okay. I do. Although I think the bouillon really, Has really enough. adds some salt. So I think you have to be careful. But Courtney loves things peppered. I do. So. I like pepper. And okay. If it does lump on you, 
my advice is before you pour it into your gravy bowl, just mm -hmm. run it through a strainer. Okay. And you can get all those lumps out. Sure. And, and then, then you're left, pour this? and then yeah, we just played it. You're left with your gravy over here, and then oh. I like it over rice. Mm. This is mm. my favorite. Okay, so we get our gravy over our rice. Give me that pepper. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go to town <laughs> on pepper, this. pepper, and uh, lunch is served on my birthday. This is this awesome. Is my Thank my you, Mama Ra. Sure. We appreciate this yummy Very recipe. Real. Yeah. You can see this segment again by going to the TheBroadcastTV.com. Then you can take your good notes. And coming up next, you're in for a musical treat. Jim Brinkman is here, and he's performing for us live when the broadcast returns.